One. No, 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 man. Now, how many times must I show you this? Now, come, give me this here. Hang on a second. You need to get your eye in. <laughs> huh? I see Kali's trying to be Robin Hood again. Uh, talking distance, man, you see? Now, I'll show you. Professionals here. doesn't try and be William Keller, so. <laughs> Looks gonna kill me. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! You owe me another 50 bucks, Kali van Grand. Hey, I'm sorry, look, man. The bloody thing slipped, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. Skunk one put me off here. You gave me the wrong arrow, eh? Morning, morning. Morning. Hello, William. Right, sir. Service is my middle name. So this is it, eh? So, Mr. Kalahari Harry, having a quiet day, are we? Yeah, well, enjoy it while you can. As your days of lounging around have finally come to an end. The old fart who gave you the lease to stay on this place has snuffed it. The property's up for grabs. For your information, the new owner's name is Oscar Kowalski. And that, my friend, happens to be me. As from today, your lease is now and void. 
I'm going to build a casino here. Biggest in the world, surrounding Game Park. Kalahari City. Yeah. It's going to make Sun City look like a joke. So, Mr. Morgan, I want you and whoever else happened to reside here off the property within a week. Stop talking shit, Kowalski. What, have you been smoking your socks or something? By law, this property has to be sold by public auction. You know that. You've got no hold over it whatsoever. No, Mr. Morgan. Money has. Money. And you've got none of that. So one week, or I'll have you forcibly removed. Oh, by the way, uh, your bushman can stay if they sign a contract with me. Morgan! Let's get out of here. <laughs> That'll be uh, 120 bucks, gentlemen, on the nose. <laughs> on the nose. We own this place, man. We don't pay. What? Come on, let's go! Ready? <laughs> In the Kalahari, everybody pays. If I were you, I'd pay you a count, Mr. Kowalski. Otherwise, you meet your doom. <laughs> How much you say it was, Pally? 120 on the note. Ah, uh, the other 50 bucks is your tips, sir. Thanks, Wood. You can let him go now, eh? Right. You'll pay for this, Morgan. Sure. Drive. <sighs> so Moon has finally snuffed it, eh? And the vouchers are circling already. Shh. Listen, it's all right for you blokes, eh? Shh. But uh, what about me? I mean, Harry, you can still go back to university and teach those students that uh, anthrop anthrop uh, what to me? That's anthropology, as well. Yeah, well, whatever apology. But what about me? I've nearly got my gas generator going. I've got the Ford running almost. I mean, and now this. No, man. All right, all right, all right. Let's do our homework. First, we must find out if this bloody Kowalski is bullshitting or not. Huh? I'll phone. Okay. And then we can take it from there. Uh, all right, good. Hey. Shit. Come. Y yes. Yes. Sit. Now, on second thoughts, pour us both a drink. Double for you. You're going to need it. Y yes, sir. I'm sending Bridget Johnson, sir. Uh, you can take my word for it, sir. Y yes. Yes, the project has been finalised. Yes. Y These are your instructions. There's a million pounds in there. Yes, can you book me a return flight for Bridget Johnson to Cape Town? Yes, South Africa. You're off. The Cape Town guys can't handle this operation. But, sir, Look I... at those desert diamonds hit the market. The whole business could collapse. Look, sir. Look, I... find him. Do anything but stop him. Find who? It's all in there. I'll triple your fee. <laughs> well, I suppose I've done it before. I could do it again. Now, you listen to me, Kitching. I'll find the money. I'll do anything I can to stop people shoving these folk off their land. And another thing. Yes, and another thing, it's my shop. I've been doing business here for years. Kitching, are you sure we've only got seven days? Well, if you can't raise the money... Well, what do you need to secure it? Uh, nothing under two million. What? And that's only half. Plus another two million over five years. And then you've got to add on the occupational rent. That makes for a lot of money. He says he needs two million to secure it, son. Jong-up, 
We'll be back. Chimpanzee. <laughs> you know what, Luke? I am going to buy the Kalahari back for the Bushman. Peace by little peace, sir. Huh? If it's the last thing I do. So, where do we start, eh? Why not? Yeah. Why not then? Hey, 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 Take what you can get. They are hot. <laughs> They're so hot, they're burning a hole in my pocket. You leave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Just one small little flame, please. Oh, man. Kale. Come, you and me, we gotta go to the city. Eh? The city you met, I can't leave this now. I've got a big breakthrough coming in, man. I can't leave you now. Yeah, there are nice girls in the city, Swa. Yeah, maybe you can pick up a good woman, eh? Hmm? Girls? Hi, farmers want a little bit of fun, eh? No, no, no. Actually, we've got some business with a man called Ishmael Farouk. Ishmael Farouk? Yeah, do you know him? You're not looking for fun, you're looking for shit, man! Crazy farmer! Man, what is this with Ishmael Farouk now? What is this now? Now, now listen, Kali, so, hey? now, now listen, okay? Excuse me. Yeah, do you know this place well? Yes, yeah, probably what? Speedball? Green, green grass of home? No, thanks. Uh, we're looking for a man called Ishmael Farouk. Ishmael Farouk? Yeah, yeah. You know Ishmael Farouk? Yeah, we want... You must be totally bedonored! What is this now with Ishmael Farouk? I mean, listen here, Harry. Just trust me, man. Hang on. Yeah, excuse me, can you help us? We're looking for a man called Ishmael Farouk. We know that... And who may I ask is Ishmael Farouk? Harry Morgan from the Kalahari. I've got a parcel for you. It's a cock. Diamonds. Right. <laughs> I, I keep walking. I just keep walking. Do something. Morgan, uh, from the Kalahari. 
I've got a parcel. Come in, Mr. Morgan. Go on. Welcome, gentlemen. Please accept something to slake your thirsts after such a tedious journey from the Kalahari. Uh, uh, cheers. Actually, uh, Mr. Farouk, I, I think we've come to the, the wrong address. We're actually looking for, 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 the, for the other uh, Mr. Farouk, the long, tall, thin one. <laughs> I think you've got the right address. I've heard about you, Mr. Kalahari Harry. Let me see the parcel. Well, actually, I didn't bring anything with me. I just wanted to see whether you wanted to deal or not. Ah, you lying dog. Actually, uh, he's got the diamonds. Uh, I've got nothing, so maybe I can just go now. Or I could also stay here if it suits your lordship. Okay, Farouk, you've seen my merchandise. Now, tell me what you think they're worth. Beautiful. A million? Two million? Next time we talk about money, I'll exchange these for your lives. Let him keep the diamonds. There's a lot more where we came from. Look, he's got the diamonds. Uh, we can just go now. Think of the Bushmen and, and the Kalahari and the whole... Okay, Farouk. You win the first round, eh? But the next time... I make the deal. What are you doing? You nearly got us killed, man! You know that? I mean, if it wasn't for me, you'd be lying in a mortuary right now. Kali, you sound like a bloody hyena in mating season. Shut up! But it's not worth it, man. I'm gonna finish my generator, and then I'm gonna make so much money, you're not gonna believe it. Every asshole will have its own long drop with its own generator sitting right behind it. I mean, think of it, man. Free gas for the rest of your life! I'm gonna find me a woman, eh? I'm gonna get married, and then you guys, you can do your own cleaning and cooking. Because I've had it, Harry. I've had it. I'm telling you, I've had it. You won't believe me, but I've had it. Shh, wait. Did not a piece of piece. Don't, don't think. Don't think. Because every time you think we get into trouble, okay? Just don't, don't, nothing. Just don't think. Forget about the bushman, Harry. It's not worth it, man. I've got it. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. I've got it. Come on, you butt belly poop on. Sure work? It worked in Iran where I retrieved the Shah's jewels. It'll work. Now let me explain. The camera is concealed in my bag, right? Now, it sends a signal to the OBS van where there are monitors and recording devices. Now you will record my every move. We will be in contact 24 hours a day. At the moment of the swap, diamonds for cash? You'll have it on record, and we'll go in and arrest Mr. Morgan. I'll have Harry Morgan, alias Kalahari Harry, behind bars in no time, believe me. Sir, listen to Force. You've been after those desert diamonds for years now, and you've achieved absolutely nothing, so be quiet. We can't take a lady into the desert. Despite all her wonderful tracking and monitoring equipment, if the system fails, we've got a problem. Captain de Force. Your reputation fits you perfectly. I've heard you were a chauvinist. 
No, I'm a Protestant. All I want from you now is to rig the OBS van. I've got my camera. Oh, I'll need a reliable four-wheel drive and a good road map. Uh, Colonel, Captain. Mm. Uh, I, 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 I saw his b b b bucky outside K Kowalski's casino. So, who's bloody bucky? A big man from the Colonel Harry, Sir Harry Morgan. Right under our noses. And you don't know it. Come. Come. Kowalski, of course. Fill me in. Rumor has it that Kowalski is buying the Kalahari where Harry operates. He's also chasing the Bushman away. How interesting. Good day, Colonel. Bet this. Enough, you're on the maximum. It's one million. Do you know your honor? One million. That is correct. One million. No more bets. Thirteen, nineteen, sixteen. 18, 14, card, 21, that will do, 15, 16, take a small one, too many. <laughs> For the girls. Okay. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Well done. Madam, I must congratulate you. Uh, thank you. However, we don't seem to have the full amount in cash at the moment. So perhaps you'll allow me to offer you the balance in the form of a check? No, I have no checks. I'm sorry, thank you, but my wife has to think about checks. We'd rather have the balance in the form of cash, if you don't mind. Very well. Let's see what we can do. Come <laughs> 
Let's go and swim. No, no, but I'm not swimming. I'm sitting. Well, stay there, this way. I'm going to wash the city out of me, boy. Putting up a fence. On whose instructions? A guy called Kowalski. Well, I think you should pack up your stuff and get the heck out of this place. You know, I'm still the rightful owner here. And I don't want it camped off like some tennis court at Wimbledon or Roland Garros or Flushing Meadow. Or... Yeah. Or Ellis Park. <laughs> <laughs> Let's carry on, guys. Who the hell are you? Can you read? K.H. Kalahari Harry. Back up, guys. Let's get the hell out of here. We'll sort this thing out tomorrow. <laughs> Size there, you know. I can see in his eyes, man. He was quivering. I knew I was going to get him there. Hey, lekker, as he has the beer. Lekker. Oh, it's nice and cold, eh? Unreal for such a broken down, bugger up place. <laughs> <laughs> that will be 35 bucks, please. 35 bucks, are you bloody mad? In the bloody city, we only pay 350 for a beer, and that's in a proper hotel. This is not the bloody city. 35 bucks. Three bucks fifty. Take it or leave it. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, hey, hey you better take the money, mate. Otherwise, we'll see to it that you won't sell another beer in this dump of yours for the next 20 years. Okay, okay, man. What's the big deal, eh? <laughs> What's 35 bucks between friends? <laughs> for trouble. This is my place, and I decide. <laughs> ah. Ah. Hey, hey. What is coming, Mgundu? Hey, hey, hey. Look. Awesome. So you're back, you old bugger. Just in time. And with a good harvest, though, Luke. Yeah, but he still doesn't get me what I wanted. Those guys on the stoop are they friend or foe? Hey, Alex, check those two moffies there. Big time chase bloody Bushman for boyfriends here. Hey, 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 Burgi. You better watch your tongue, eh? Otherwise, you uh, might just get into trouble. <clears throat> So why don't you take your pea shooters and pack your fat asses in your rattle traps and get the hell out of here? Or... Or what? 
Hey, 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 Gussie, it's hot day. You're feeling cool and I. Don't block them! Move them first! Brilliant. Hey, that's all for your boot to back, Mark! Hey, you mind if I throw for our course there? Looks like he's got trouble with his clothes, man, eh? Brilliant. Game, set, and match. <laughs> <laughs> so now, uh, why don't you take your pea shooters and piss off? Come, Carol, we'll get this manier later. Go back, Bill. Sure. Huh? Now, I agree, yeah. We'll be back. There's more where that came from. Uh, take over to Parliament. Come, let's go. I'm going to schedule. I don't know about some people, you know. They came here looking for trouble. Yeah. They're from Kowalski. Kowalski? Yep. And so is this. Two million bucks, Luke. You. Two million bucks. <laughs> Joking. Hello. Yeah, Gabriel. Yeah, it's Luke here. Get me the Sunfeld Estates in Uppington, please. Yeah, to kitchen. Yeah, it's urgent. Hey, kitchen. We've got two million bucks. You got two million in hard cash? Listen, but. Can we still get in before the auction? Of course, yes. You come in as soon as possible and we'll do the deal. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Yes. Yes, kitchen. Good. Organize the jet. I want to get there as soon as possible. Right, bye. Hurry up, hurry up. I'm gonna do what all people in the Kalahari do best, huh? <laughs> hey, Bobby, come and get a beer for him. to make some more methane. Because if we're gonna stay here, we're gonna have to make lots more methane, right? Right, okay. Very important, if you can smell it, you got pressure, right? Right, Is it biggie? That's it, right. Mm, nothing, nothing. No biggie? Yeah, yeah! <laughs> hey, oh, he says! We got pressure, we got pressure, yes, sir. smell, smell. <laughs> All right, all right, let's go on. Strike a match, strike a match. This is it. This is it, beautiful. Oh, no, man. Not today, Skunkwa. Not today. All right. We need some more people, man. You're not ready. You're not ready. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, Harry, this baboon is costing us a fortune, eh? There is no free body and lodging here. Look, yes, sir. I can't help it if the baboon likes me. If you can stop the baboon liking me, then the baboon will go, all right? Yeah, all the profits are gone, man. You know? It's too much, man. Ah, no.
What do you call that? Are you out of my dreams or what? You know, like normally we only get other. Yeah. Hey. Eh? Could I have some petrol, please? Uh, yes, of course. We got fresh, fresh petrol, everything. Come, come. So, uh, I'm I'm Kali. I'm a man. In case you and uh, no, but come through, please. I can help you with everything. We got petrol. We got we got you name it. We got it all here. Come. Hey. Eh? Thank you, Lucky Stars, Williams. We got you, up here. Come. Come inside, yeah. Have yourself a nice cool beer. Make yourself at home. Never fear when Cully's here. <laughs> you can just lie down here. I mean, just sit down here and, you know, relax, enjoy the view. Are hey, you blokes, check this. Hey, shut up now, man. Don't worry about this. He just reacts like when there's a woman around. Hey, Luke, don't you want to bring us some beers here? What else would the lady want? Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. I tend to merge with the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for uh, Mr. Kalahari Harry. I've heard that he's sometime in this area. What do you want with him? I, I want him to take me to an original group of Koi San. You know, the Bushmen. Well, there's no problem. We can do this. Listen, I tell you what, I'm, I'm going to go and... Get the petrol and sort your car out. And I'm coming right back, eh? So don't go away, okay? This is brilliant. Hello. I'm Harry. Oh, Bridget. Bridget Johnson. Pleased to meet you. Light me a cigarette, quickly. Mm. Come on, hurry up. Mm. So, Mr. Kalahari Harry Morgan, where do we start? Come on, come on. Will you take me to them? What for? Eh? Oh, yeah. oh. Is something wrong? No, no. It, it's um just the glare of the sun. It makes me want to sneeze. Oh. oh. Bless you. Jeez. Oh, thanks. Well, uh... I need stock footage for the last section of a documentary commissioned by the BBC. It um, deals with the displacement of primitive people throughout the world by modern technology. The Kurds in northern Afghanistan, the Indians in the Amazon rainforests, that sort of thing. Will you help me? Certainly. Excuse me. You want to freshen up first? I've got a room in the hotel. That beat is perfect. Nearly burn my bloody ear, you idiot. Hello. I uh, brought the rest of your luggage. Oh. And uh, everything is 100%. Your tank's full. The oil and water's fine. Would you like me to check your tires? No, thank you. Uh, can I give you a service? Yeah, your car, I mean, give your car a service. <laughs> no, thank you. Can I just wash your windscreen? <laughs> Look, just shout if you need anything, okay? Because if you shout, I can hear you, because I'm just over here. That's very kind. Thank you. So, I'll just go over here then. <laughs> 
Number two, number two. Right now, I've made contact with him, but I nearly blew it, thanks to you. I'm, uh, sorry about that, number one. This man's very strange. He appears to be having a love affair with a baboon. Don't worry, I've got it all under control. You just stand by. So, you will continue towards the deal? Over and out. Beg your pardon? <laughs> Look, this is the Kalahari. If you drive, then I open the gate. But if I'm driving, then you open the gate. Now open the gate. Please. carry your camera for you. No, thank you. If I can open gates, I can carry it myself. Wonderful evening. I know. Those people ask nothing of you, you know. All they need is a gap, a place where they can live life the way they want to. It's a pity. Maybe the last time you see them in such high spirits. This guy called Kowalski. He wants to buy this place, put up a massive casino. If he gets his way, that'll be that for them. Finish. Tomorrow. 
Yes. Sure. Difficult criminal to catch. Mr. Kalahari Harry Morgan. Still nothing. No, nothing, Captain. What the hell happened to the woman? Twelve hours of no contact. Well, maybe she's uh, sleeping, sir. You got any other bright suggestions, Williams? Oh, well, yes, sir. Well, maybe she's um, having a, a job. Shut up. Listen, a man must look like a man must look, okay? You better get used to it. Because before the moon is full, I'm going to marry that woman. Morning, Kelly. Morning, morning. <laughs> Listen, leave me alone, okay? Snake. It's just a rubber snake. We keep it in there to keep Bobby out of the shower. What? It's not a real snake. It's just a piece of rubber. Look. Uh. <laughs> it's okay. You can go back in now. Okay. <clears throat> Haven't seen Harry around this morning. Yeah, he's gone. I'm in charge now. Gone where? Oh, there. Where's that? Oh, there. What's he doing there? Things, you know. Where will Skankran and the Bushmen go if they sell the land? Tell me. Do you have a boyfriend? Why doesn't Harry buy the land for the Bushmen? You see, I, I said to Harry, look, if I get married, you see, then at least we've got a woman around the place who can do all the thinking and cooking and stuff, and then we can just get on with our work. If Harry buys the land, how do you pay for it? Ah, oh. <laughs> he's got eggs. Sorry? But I'm telling you, you wouldn't make as good a husband as I would, though, eh? <laughs> I'm sure you're right. Where does he keep these eggs? There. Will you show me? Hey, no ways. Forget it. Harry would kill me. Nobody messes around with these eggs. <laughs> Thank you for saving me back there. Bridget Johnson, calling number two. Are you there? What the hell happened to you? Relax, DeVos. Things are progressing just fine. You just remain on standby. Over and out. A woman. Can you believe it? Me, taking orders from a bloody woman. <laughs> oh, well, well, it's, it's, it's a new South Africa, sir. So I... <laughs> that's not a new South African. Yeah. That's a, that's a, a limey, a, a, a bommy. Do you think they'll come down in price? I don't know. We can only try it. Right into the trap. Yeah. 
I'd say we should eat them now and take the money while we got the chance. No, no. Kitchen will follow my instructions. I still say we should eat them now. Shut up! You should have taken him while you had the chance. But no, you thought you could play bloody games. Dickhead. Yes, Come in! Yeah, uh, about that 50,000. Yeah, right away. Welcome, welcome. Howdy. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Thank you. Well, Mr. Kitching, we really appreciate you helping us, like I say. It's only a pleasure. You guys are working for a great cause. You really think so? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Have you got the documents? Already. <laughs> you got the cash? Right here. If the executors are happy with this, then we can avoid the auction, right? Who knows? Who knows? If um, you've got to take a chance now and again, you know. <laughs> the size of the property is 20,000 hectares. It's ready. Right, let's go. See, everything's going according to plan. Do you mind if I uh, count the cash? Feel free. So, Mr. Kalahari, we meet again. Oh, where's my money? Your money. The only money you ever owned, Kowalski, was the revenue stamp on your birth certificate. Eh? Uh, just hand it over. Kitchen! Bobby. <laughs> Bushmen are there in the felt, eh? You promised me an interview this morning, but then you were gone. Yes, but now I'm back. The time's not the same here as it is in London. Yeah, this is the Kalahari. Yeah, you've got to get patience. You've got to, you know, cool off, ease off. You've been gambling again? Excuse me. Listen, why don't you interview me? Harry? I don't know as much about these coy sound people as anybody else. I'm telling you, those BBC people, they'll go mad when they see me. Because I've heard eh, that it's that it's a television uh, personality that comes across in front of a camera. And that's me. I'm Mr. Personality. Man, interview me. OK, Kelly, off you go. You reckon? Down the stairs, yes. Oh, no, okay. Are you receiving me? Are you receiving me? Loud and clear. I beg your pardon? Oh, no, I'm just talking to myself. You see? You've already gone gorkus. 
That's what the desert does to you, eh? Okay, just stand there and start talking. Well, I just talk about myself. Yes? Yeah, suddenly I feel a fool. Uh, all right. Um, I was born at a very young age. I was a war baby. My parents took one look at me and started fighting. <laughs> that guy's driving me crazy. Get rid of him, Bridget. He's wasting our time. Okay, now say something. All right. <clears throat> right. Let's get it over with, huh? Oh, you've changed your mind, have you? Yes. Well, where do you want me, hmm? Why, well, it would be nice to, um, go up there, with the Kalahari behind you. Up there? Hmm. All right. Lead on. Sorry, sorry. Come in. Hey. What's you got that I haven't got? <laughs> They call it charisma. What? Charis what? Ah. So where do you get that from? Look, uh, <clears throat> what kind of uh, thing do you want me to say? Come on, Mago Mok, Mago Mok. Can I help you with the camera? No, it's all right. Ah. Hey, tell me what you think you're doing, son! This is definitely not a rumor. This is reality. Thanks. I see you shooting without a cassette. Am I? Mm. <laughs> How could I have forgotten? <laughs> I wonder what old Mr. Kotzler would say about that, eh? Kotzler? You don't know him? He's the head of the documentary department at the BBC. I phoned him this morning. He doesn't know anything about you or your project. So why don't we just come clean, Miss Johnson? What the hell are you doing here? Watch it. Be careful, he's setting you up. Okay. I'm working as a journalist for an outside producer. Hopefully we'll sell it to the BBC. I'm sure we could organize your cut of the uh, profits. Could be worth your while. Oh. Okay. Then show me the footage you shot last night. What? Are you suggesting that I didn't shoot any footage last night? No, no, no. I'm not suggesting that, but uh, <laughs> if you don't have the footage, then you must be pretty stupid. Eh? <laughs> Look, don't call me stupid. You can call me anything you like, but don't call me stupid. I'm trying. I'm trying. But if you haven't got those shots... I have! It's in my room. Okay, men. Listen up. We are now about 30 kilometers from the oasis. I want you guys to go in there as silently as possible. You surround him, eh? Okay. Now, when you're there, you wait for my signal. If I give you the signal, you pounce on him and we'll catch him. All right, Skunk One. Strike another match. I think we still got some pressure here. Oh, careful, oh, careful, careful. Oh, no, man. Thanks, gentlemen. Hello, Luke. Hi. Luke, get this young lady uh, double scotch and soda. She's going to need it. Uh, did uh, Kali's little explosion shock you? <laughs> Come on, damn it. Get me a light. Miss Johnson, the tapes. Bridget? Yes? Just tell me one thing. How do you know about my gambling? Hmm? First time I'll do it. Harry Morgan. I'll come clean. 
There is no footage. But I believe that you're a collector of uh, precious stones. Is that right? Maybe. Well, I work for a syndicate in London who uh, might be interested in doing business with you. We've got him this time. And that's the truth. Plain and simple. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We've got him. <laughs> Stop over the lane. Are you working for Kowalski? Kowalski? Excuse me. Let me show you what I've got. I smell a rat. I've been smelling it for some time. All units, stand by. I think we're getting hot. Standing by, Captain. Standing by, Captain. Standing by, Captain. Standing by, Captain. Oops, standing by, Captain. Diamonds. Harry! It's working! Hey, Harry! It's working, but I'm gonna be rich! Me, Kali van Kran, millionaire, inventor, extraordinaire! <laughs> I'm telling you, it's working! The Kalahari will never be the same again. Every bushman is gonna have a methane plant right there in his backyard. So, uh, you wanna marry me now or what? Ah! Ah! Hey, shut up, you stupid animal. Hey, so I don't talk to her like that, eh? Sorry, boy. Look, you don't have to decide right now. You can decide later on. I have to get back to the project now. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> Brilliant! Shall we go inside, Miss Johnson? I think so. Synchronize your watches at 1400 hours. Ready, Captain? Now. Count it, please. <laughs> Stand by, all units. Stand by. Captain. Captain. One million pounds, all right. The stones, please. Business. The Kalahari gives them to me. I sell them to you. That's how we survive. Now, Miss Johnson, tell me how you know about my gambling. Hmm? I'm afraid your trap has failed, Miss Johnson. Mr. Morgan, my trap has worked. If you walk out here now, you walk straight into the hands of the police. Sorry about that. Come, Williams. <laughs> Watch 
Come on out, Morgan, or I'll blow this woman's head off. I want my money, Harry. And you don't want anything to happen to this lady, do you? Let the girl go, Kowalski. Your problem with me has got nothing to do with her. Harry, please. Beat that shit out of me, boy. Hey, what are you? Hey, 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 hey. Pick on someone your own size. Oh, very serious. Give me a hush, Thanks for your cooperation, Morgan. We'll keep the girl until you and the Bushmen are off this land. Go on. <laughs> Williams, do you understand the concept of pushing? It means forward and fast. Well, get that bitch out of the way. What do you want to say, Williams? Petrol. Mm. I knew that. Mm. Of course you did, sir. Get him, sir! Sterling. What's that bastard doing with Sterling? It's got absolutely nothing to do with you. <laughs> Tough little bitch, eh? Come on, Harry. Come, Harry. Come, Harry. Come, Harry. Come, Harry. Come, Harry. We've got a problem. But I don't know no one. It's a fuel gauge. Something's wrong. We had two hours flying and now it's almost empty. If you've screwed up again, I'll shoot you right here in the air. You know, we'll never get rid of this Kowalski. Yeah, but we still got the diamonds, Luke. Now maybe we can, uh, what? Me? I must go with him. Huh? You shot the big bird? Yeah. And this? And this is his blood? Yeah. Skunk one. You beauty. Skunk one! You shot the big bird. Come on, skis in there. Who the hell was that? Oh, what's so bloody funny, eh? Yeah, well, the joke's on you. Kowalski came in here and he took away your little agent. You know, he kidnapped her. <laughs> your whole plan's falling apart. <laughs> Enough. Sorry, boss. We've got to land. You bloody idiot. We're in the middle of the desert, man. OK, just get her down. I'll shoot you later.
one. Ow, ow. Come on, man. Get out. Ow! Ah! Ah! Ah, you bitch. And this is brilliant. This is totally bloody brilliant. Where the hell are we? Boss, we were flying north. North? North of what, man? Well, of this tank, boss. It's not my, my fault, boss. We had two Whose hours... fault is it you fly the bloody thing? Well, let's have a look, sir. We were here, you see. And now? And now the petrol just ran out. I don't know what's wrong. I'll have to have a look, you see. So, as you were going to give her the diamonds, the chopper came in, right? You telling me? Hmm? Yes, I'm telling you, because I bloody well saw you. Oh, yes? See this? Williams, can you hear me? Come in. Uh, I read you. I, I read you. Well, it didn't help you very much anyway. Because whatever little scheme you were planning, Captain DeForce, has failed. My scheme? It wasn't my scheme. It was that damn woman. Oh, yeah, the BBC reporter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Send an alert signal countrywide. Yes, sir. And that chopper lands. I want everybody there. Come in, air traffic. We have nothing to report. No flight plan has been logged to or from the Oasis. I repeat, unscheduled flight. They won't get very far. What the hell are you talking about? See, boss, wasn't my fault. Damn little Bushman. So, Kowalski, what'll happen now? Just shut up, tie up, anything. Oh. Hey. Hey, boss. Take us. Give, give, give. Well, well, well. Now, I suppose you bought these for this, didn't you? Well, no, they're fakes. No, they're not. How the hell would you know? Well, I should know. I work for the... IDC. You work for the IDC, do you? Well, then, yes, you should know. That is a fake. But now tell me, these other diamonds, the ones you thought you were buying, they were real, weren't they? My boys, we caught ourselves a very special bird here. Just watch it, Kowalski. I happen to be working in conjunction with the police. Listen, what if they've crashed? What if they're all dead? I mean, that beautiful woman. Hey, DeForce, tell me, what if they're all dead? I'll kill Bloody Kowalski, that's what will happen. Face, can you read me? Come in, please. Is that her? She's alive! She's alive! Face. I, 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 I read you. Captain DeVos, please. DeVos? I know him, give me that. DeVos! Can you read me? This is Kowalski. I read you loud and clear. Where the hell are you, Kowalski? Sure as hell, I'm gonna kill you when I get you. Now listen to Foss, we're both on the same side. If I hadn't saved this girl, Harry would have killed her. What rubbish, you bastard, you royal! If something happens to that woman, you're gonna have to deal with me, I'm telling you. Look, this is a police matter. Get back, get back, I'll do this loop. Our uh, location is east. 20 degrees, 36 minutes. South, 26 degrees, 54 minutes. I got you, Kowalski. But if you harm as much as one hair on that woman's body, you'll be in serious trouble. 
Right, the force, this is the deal. Right, this is what I want. I want the real diamonds. I want 100 liters of helicopter fuel, and I want Harry to bring it in alone. I get my money back. You get the girl safe and sound. You catch Harry on IDB charges. Quits. I want to talk to you, Morgan. Listen here, Captain DeFoss. Either you call me Harry or you call me Mr. Morgan. I'm not your bloody Morgan. Okay, okay, relax. What does he want us to do, hmm? He uh, wants you to take him some jet fuel and the real diamonds. <laughs> I haven't got any real diamonds, Captain DeFoss. Timers! Uda. Uda. Diamond here. Ah. Ah. Skunkboy. Thank you very much, Mr. Morgan. Now, will you help me? Kale, get the four by fours ready. For the force? Yeah, for the force. I can assure you, if I have anything to do with it... Now just... I... Shut up! Or I'll get them to type your mouth up again. Now just... Shut up! Just shut up! Hey! 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 Help me! What help me! What is it? 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 Wait, 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 wait! Hey, 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 let's go, let's go! Okay, fine, fine. Okay, there, there. No. Okay, you got it. I just stay away from me. You just stay away from me. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Yeah. 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 And this? Mm. You asked for four by fours? Here they are. These are the best four by fours from far. Mm. Camels. Yes, Captain, camels. But why three? I thought it's only you and I going. Skunk one is going to come with us. He's going to be our guide. The third one is a spare in case one of these gets a flat tire. He'll ride it in the meanwhile. And just remember, Captain, in case you get trigger happy, he's still got his little bow and arrow, eh? Mm. What's that? It's a hyena piss. <laughs> we use it to uh, just, you know, to keep the insects off us. <laughs> you want some? No. Ach, no, sis, man. <laughs> All right. Suit yourself. <laughs> now, um, <clears throat> I think you better give me the bait, Captain. Thank you. Right, <clears throat> let's go. Come. That's that. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> come on, I'll get off, come and use a long drop, and I'm sick. 
When we get close, you'll have to dismount near a vantage point. Then Skankwan and I will go in with the fuel. It'll all look quite normal. There won't be any suspicion. You're not pulling my chain, eh? No, there's no other way. That's the only way it can happen. You've got your radio and all your men standing by. In the meantime, I'll try and save Bridget, okay? But the one thing, once the deal's done, you get your men there straight away. Chop, chop. Okay. Boss! 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 Well, what's happening? There's... Camels, boss. Camels? Yes, boss. Two of them, boss. And how many people? I'm positive there's one out, boss. Right. Let's get ready. <laughs> <laughs> this is serious stuff, man. Come on. What are the time? Come on, serious <laughs> I told you to come in alone, Morgan. What's that bloody little bushman doing with you? He's just a boy. He's the best tracker in the Kalahari. He guided me here. Well, he tries anything funny, I'll kill that little bastard. Now, have you got the diamonds? Can you give me the car first. I'll give you the diamonds afterwards. No funny business. Watch him, Harry. He's dangerous. He'll shoot you in the back. First, you let the girl go. Then you get the diamonds. I make the terms, Morgan. First the diamonds, then you get the girl. <laughs> Going for the fuel, boss. <clears throat> Thanks a lot. Surround this thing now! You, you liar! Ever since you've come to the oasis, there's been nothing but trouble! Damn it. Come here. Don't move. Maybe they won't see us. I think they've spotted us. Maybe Kowalski and the force are working together. They've got nothing on me. Maybe if I run out there and distract them. Then you could get away. No. Let's get the hell out of here. Come on. Guys, stop one! Hey, 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 Eh? They are with the auction, man. You can do it any faster, do it yourself. Oh. Hey, hey, just stay calm. Stay calm, eh? Yes. Hey, 
Kali, you know, Bob is trying to tell us something. Where has everybody gone? Even the cops are gone. Right, listen, I'm, I'm going to look for Harry, okay? Okay, okay. Now, you do exactly what I did. They've disappeared off the face of the earth. You can't see them anywhere. I don't particularly want to see him either. I've got to set up an auction of this land. Starts at 12 o'clock exactly. 12 o'clock? Mr. John Miller in uh, extent 25,898 hectares. Uh, need a transfer. Uh, yeah, it's on the house. Yeah. Okay. The sale will be without reserve to the Right, does everybody understand the terms and conditions? Any questions? Just get on with that job, Kitching. Uh, yes, Mr. Kowalski. Now, who's going to make me an offer on this magnificent piece of Kalahari property? Where do you think you're going, Mr. Morgan? The road ends here. No, no, no. Uh, no, it doesn't. There, I can see it carrying on there. And that's where the auction is. I've got to be there. Yeah, and I'm saying you're staying right here. One wrong move. And there will be three dead bodies in this road. Yeah, Swara, I think there will be three dead bodies, but uh, I think they'll be yours, you know. <laughs> yours. Uh, why don't you just turn around? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Now men! 40,000, gang of 40,000. 50. 50,000 we have. 50,000. Advance on 50,000. 60. 60,000 rand we have. Any advance on 60,000? One million rand. You must be bloody mad. One million rand I have. One million rand. Going for the first time. Going for the second time. Stop, stop, stop. One million I have going once. One and a half million. The forces should be in jail. Should be behind bars. We can talk about that later. One and three quarter million. Two million. That's my money, the force. He's buying with my money. Just shut up, Kowalski. Two million I got. Going for the first time. Going for the second time. Uh, two and a half million. Two and a half million I got. Going for the first time. Going for the second time. It's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. One million pounds sterling. That's five million rand cash. <laughs> Uh, one million pounds sterling I have from the uh, 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 beautiful blonde lady over there. One million pounds sterling going for the first time. Going for the second time. Gone! Oh, well. Back to the drawing board. Kali, are you right? Yeah. I'm all right, but look at Kowalski. <laughs> you bought this. You've got the deed. I bought it for you, Harry. It's yours. You bought it for me. <laughs> what? You didn't buy it for me. You bought it for Skunkwan and his people. The money, please, Miss Johnson. <laughs> Thank you very much. Miss Johnson, you have a lot of explaining to do, and your plane is standing by for London. Cut. Uh, uh, hang on, Captain. I give her a chance, man. Um, <clears throat> Miss Johnson, uh, thanks. Uh, just don't smooch her, man. Come on, cut. Come on. You must have almost ruined my career. Now I've had it up to you with you. Miss Johnson! He has something to remember us by. Don't you want to ride with me to Cape Town? Tell me one thing. How did you know about my gambling, huh? <laughs> it's going to be a long journey, Mr. Kalahari, Harry Morgan. I'll tell you on the way. What's he got that I haven't got? Charisma, Kali. I told you to work on it. <laughs> Charisma? Yeah. Open the place and because it's 
so empty They wanna come and fill this space But it's my home Yes it is And they never 